In Inkscape, there are several methods that you can use to move objects. In this video, I am going to demonstrate them for you. The first method I'll call the Select and Drag method. You click the Selector tool to select it, then you click the object to select it and drag. If you have more than one object to move, you select them and drag. When you click on the selector tool to activate it and then click on an object to select it, you also activate these icons and fields on the tool's control bar. You can use the X and Y fields to move objects. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit, but first I want to point out some other things to you. When you select an object, dashed lines will form a rectangle around it. This rectangle is called the bounding box and it defines the furthest point on all four sides of the object. The X field defines the location of the left side of the bounding box. The Y field defines the location of the bottom of the bounding box. I've inserted two guides in my window. This vertical guide marks the zero point on my horizontal ruler. This horizontal guide marks the 500 point on my vertical ruler. If I want my bounding box on this guide, I can type zero in the X field. Now, the left side of the bounding box is directly on top of my vertical guide. If I want the bottom of the bounding box to align perfectly with my horizontal guide, I can type 500 in the Y field. Now the bottom of the bounding box is perfectly aligned with the horizontal guide. To move my object to the right, I just increase the value in the X field. To move my object to the left, I decrease the value in the X field. To move my object up, I increase the value in the Y field, and to move it down, I decrease the value in the Y field. You can also move multiple objects using the X and Y fields. I'm going to hold down my shift key and select this rectangle and then select this circle. Then I'm going to 
use the X field to move my objects left and right and up and down. You can also use the left, right, up, and down arrow keys to move objects. Select the object or objects you want to move, and then click the, I'm sorry, and then press the left arrow key to move the objects left, the right arrow key to move the objects right, the up arrow key to move the objects up, and the down arrow key to move the object down. The amount by which the objects move each time you press an arrow key depends on your Inkscape preferences. To change your preferences, click Edit, Preferences. Expand the Behavior section, click Steps, and then change the amount in the Arrow Keys Move By field. You can also use the arrow keys to nudge an object or objects. Select the objects or object or objects you want to move. Hold down the arrow, hold down the Alt key, and then press the proper arrow key. Left for left, right for right, up to move up, and down to move down. There is yet another method that you can use to move objects. You can click Object, Transform to open up the Transform dialog box. You can then use the Move tab to move objects. I want to start by explaining these fields to you. In this field, you select your unit of measure. I'm going to use pixels. In this box, you check whether you want to move in a relative fashion or not. And I'm going to leave this checkbox checked and show you how moving in a relative fashion works. Here in the horizontal field I have a negative 10. If I select this object it will move horizontally 10 pixels to the left. Negative 10, click Apply, 10 pixels to the left every time I click the Apply button. If I want this object to move 10 pixels to the right, instead of having a negative 10, I would enter a positive 10. And then every time I click the Apply button, it would move 10 pixels to the right. The vertical field works in much the same way. I'm going to set the horizontal field to zero and then show you if I enter a positive 10 here, every time I hit the apply button, 
the object moves 10 pixels up. And if I enter a negative 10 here, every time I hit the apply button, the object moves 10 pixels down. And of course you can enter values in both of these fields at the same time. This would move the uh, object 10 pixels to the right, and this would move the object 10 pixels up. So we're going to go up to 10 pixels and to the right 10 pixels. Hmm. That wasn't very dramatic. Let's, I'm going to click Control Z to undo that, and we'll make this 30. So you can see it moved 30 pixels up and 30 pixels to the right. So when you have this set to relative, that's how that works. If you uncheck this box, the way this field work, these two fields work, is pretty much the same way as the X and Y fields work on the control bar. This field, the horizontal field, um, marks the location of my object, or I should say the location of the left side of the bounding box on my horizontal ruler, and the um, vertical field marks the location of the bottom of my bounding box on the vertical ruler. So um, again, I have a guide here set at zero, and if I set the horizontal location to zero, then click apply, my object moves to the zero point, and my horizontal ruler is set to 500, if I set my vertical location to 500 and then click apply, my object moves to um, the, the 500 marker on my vertical ruler.